and even with the track man people are still arguing balls and strikes yeah. all of that we had some kid who was the first time here he was like ready to like fight someone put on a curveball yeah. and he's trying to complain balls and strikes and then some one of our pitchers is like hey bro you, you can't be you can't be crying about balls and strikes after you get buckled twice and strike out oh my god bro oh, hell oh, man what the man yeah. welcome to nashville There's tennessee no the place of wonders and baseball. What do we got here? Where are we at? Well, we got Smart Mitt. Interactive strike zone. No catcher needed. No catcher is needed. Dude, we'll give our guy Johnny Fields a break, you know? But yeah. our D1 model. Okay. That's the that's oh, our shit. mid model. So that's right here's our pro model. It's pretty much the same thing as the D1, uh -huh. but you get two different cameras and so gives you kind of like Different bullpen session. How's it going, Tom? Brad, Brad? nice to meet you. Nice to meet I hope you, you don't mind the camera. Not at all. So I'm, I'm, uh, can I have a couple kids? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Got kids hey, you got, hey, you're on camera, man. You got, you got to throw a seed. Oh, I don't know about that one, Chief. We got a manual mode on it, so uh, if your pitcher is struggling to find find the strike zone, be like, okay, dude, I'm going to throw the, put this glove right down the middle. Hit it, please. Hit tracks and track, man, has been awesome. But, like, it's so funny because, like, live at, we do a lot of live at-bats there, and... Even with the track man, people are still arguing balls and strikes, yeah. all of that. We had some kid who was the first time here. He was like ready to like fight someone after he got like buckled twice, right? It was like a fastball by you, buckled on a curveball, yeah. and he's trying to complain balls and strikes. And then some one of our pitchers is like, "Hey, bro, you, you can't be you can't be crying about balls and strikes after you get buckled twice and strike out." Oh my God, bro! Oh, hell, hell no, bro. man! What the <laughs> man? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And he's like, "Wait, what did you, what did you <laughs> say to my face?" I'm like, "I just did." You know what I mean, bro? You yeah. struck out. You can't talk. You just struck out, bro. All right, y'all, this is the booth that I've been wanting to go to. This We are with the best in the game right here. You need a good bat? Tater Baseball, baby. That's we got it. Jeremiah here, one of the brothers that started Tater. What are you guys here doing? Like, what are you guys promoting here? And like, what do you guys do? Just tell them about Tater. So this is our first ABCA trade show. Kind of growing a lot since we started. We're a full service baseball brand specializing in protective gear, training bats, fielding gloves, and obviously the game bats. You know, the game bats are our bread and butter. Yes, sir. Um, we do a little bit of everything. This year, we're mainly showing off most of the training bats and our merch. Getting big into the merch side of things. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves it. It's doing a little bit of everything. Uh, you guys got some fire merch. I'm about to talk to you guys about like where you guys get your performance stuff because like that shit is big oh, league. Hot. Hot. That shit it's is big league. league. <laughs> you guys have like very specific and like even patented yeah. training bats. Like, tell us a little something about it. Yes, sir. We got our split grip overload training bat. We developed this with Guillermo Martinez. As a hitting coach in the Jays Big League, one of the best tools we ever made. We Probably got it at there. Cutter Nation. We, we, got got it, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Everyone goes. How much is weight? Look. How much do you think? Damn. 33 plus and a half plus 10. Uh, you work in top hand, back control. All of it. Efficiencies, oh. bat path, you name it. You can do it. Bat speed, bat. anything. It's a multi function training bat. A set of training bats from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. A bunch of MLB organizations using them. And you know, it's taking, taking storm just like everything else. You know what it is. We know Cutter Nation, Tater Baseball. We rock, we rock Tater Baseball. We already know. Hardcore all day. We love the training bats. We love the game bats. They're sexy as hell. What's, what's up, Play 9? So, Play 9 is uh, mostly targeted as a, as a training aid company specific for, for pitchers. So, we have variations of, of plow balls. We have pitching sets. We also have our own versions of spin trainers. Get a little bit more of an honest, true leather feel. Four seam, two seam, curveball, and then just your traditional ball. Fly ball set with seams, just get a more honest feel, better grip. We have 20% more rubber and thicker sand, so you're gonna get more life expectancy out of the ball. And then we're gonna come out with a band as well that targets and activates the muscles in the forearm and the elbow that help you prepare to throw. 
These are resistance bands, great for activation, pre-throws. Um, so pretty straightforward, you know, you might see a Jaeger band, put it around the wrist, right? It's gonna hyper, hyper target and activate shoulder, uh, scap, lat, and uh, rotator cuff. We have different variations, adult and youth. Just go. Thanks guys. Yeah. Well, it was, it was, dude, I had a girl on here for two hours at a Perfect Game show last week. She totally fell asleep, but she woke up with no migraine, so she was happy. If we have, like, low back pain, 30, 40 minutes is fine, because that back's not going to tetanize. Or if, like, we have, like, elbow pain, obviously not before pitch. But if we can go, like, on the elbow, you just want to do our standard pitcher setup? Awesome. Do you want me to help? Dude, I'm so. How do you lose your bags on one the first trip of your? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is take a lot. Um, just because, like, we've been making obviously a big push in baseball, and it's a slow grind, but it's it's turning into a fast build. And honestly, right now it's basically baseball, and hopefully some MMA coming up. Yeah, so we look at MMA as the interviews are kind of soft. The low-hanging fruit because it's I mean it's joint manipulation for all the jujitsu. And there's super close knit communities just like baseball communities. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Serious thing. You gotta target it. Because we've always tried to do like every sport that's out there because we know we can help them all. But then you spread too thin and you're not helping anyone. What is Stinger about? It's a sports company and we're, we're able to do a lot of different things with uniforms, uh, wood bats, metal bats, fielding gloves, and really our main goal is to get the, the most bang for your bucks. Uh, really just make sports affordable again. You guys make bats, right? Yep, we make wood and metal bats. This one right here, we, we came out with this kind of new military uh, line for wood bats. Our bang gloves are awesome too. They, they have a... a Patented technology that wraps all the way around from the front, all the way around here. So this is where the most tearing will happen in batting gloves, and we have this patent here, um, which is unique. So you'll have a lot less rips in your batting gloves. They're going to last a lot longer. Um, and again, you're just getting more bang for your buck. From? Uh, we're originally from New York. We started in New York about eight years ago, and then we moved to Rock Hill, South Carolina, two years ago. What, uh, what year did you guys start? We started. Like 2015, I believe, was when we started doing the wood bats and the batting gloves. Um, and then, probably a couple of years after that, we started uniforms and we just kind of kept expanding all of our products. Tell me about the uniform team. Want to get started? Yeah. yeah, so if you go to our website, there'll be a uniform tab um, and you can select the sport that you're in. Uh, and then, after that, there'll be a form towards the bottom that will let you uh, fill all your team information, uh, your logos. You can still put your logos in there and everything. And that will get sent to one of our sales reps. You'll get a mock-up going, and from there, it's just getting the process started.
baseball better it's major league leather so one of the things that we've done is we have tightened up the seams on it made the seams a lot more familiar to a lot of people uh, it's major league leather major league uh, thread that we use everything is made in the United States it's sewn in Winston-Salem North Carolina and gives you all the same metrics that uh, every big league is using every day yeah I can, I can tell the, the low seam feels good doesn't it I had 100 pitches this morning, so it's a... It is, there's not enough pine tar for John on the ball, though, you know. I need one of Pine tar is vastly underrated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you can obviously... Prove, it, you know, it, 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 the ball proves it, too. The ball it absolutely proves it. Absolutely proves Speaking it. Speaking of sticky, um, we've actually heard, I don't know if you're sure from this, where um, sticky sunscreen pine tar is improving spin efficiency. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. It's illegal as well, so you got to watch what you do a little is bit. It illegal? Is Not an opposite. Is this legal or is this illegal? It's only illegal if you don't get caught. If you put two different rosin bags on the mound, you can tell me I can do whatever I want. There you can mess up the tone. And the other thing that's great about it is that two kids playing catch in the backyard with a telephone can get the same number, make the numbers, they can bring the information to you, you can go over with them, you can get reports and get the numbers printed out as well if you like to do it. Video, the video starts as soon as you start your delivery, the video starts as soon as you finish the ball hitting the catcher's glove or the ball hitting a net, the video stops, self-edits, everything's contained and ready to go. Yeah, the autonomous capture features, yes. so you guys were definitely one of the first ones to do I see a ton of companies out here doing this and all of a sudden have auto capture features and funny how that works. So you guys are just pushing the envelope. I love it. It's awesome. Try to it changes, keeps updating all the time. If if we update some information, it just like updating your telephone it says update available, you hit it, takes you twenty seconds, and you've got the latest information and we're putting out there. Oh, I see There's some hardware on there. I see some hardware on all there. All kinds of neat stuff. What you got here? They were desperate for All-Stars one year. So. <laughs> Matter of fact, in San Diego, I got yeah. picked to the All-Star game. Oh, yeah. so, sick. Well, we're 20, 22 years old. Yeah. Well, you, you were a big fan of the street ball. You're not throwing it at all. <laughs> uh -oh. Never throw it straight. I, I think there's a left-hander trapped inside because I couldn't throw a ball straight from the right side. Hey, straight so ball goes far, though. Everything, everything was sink. Yeah. Everything was hard with sink. Try to make guys hit the ball off their foot. I had Robin Yount and Paul Molitor playing behind me, so I figured ground balls were a pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing a little different. I'm making left turns. Yeah, there cutters, you go. You know. Cutters work as yeah. well. Any way that puts it, you know, within three feet of distance. You yeah. know, there the you go. For sure. We have a saying: straight ball goes really far. No matter, no matter what it's supposed to be, if it's straight, it's going a long way. It's going to go far. Yeah. It's going to go see guys all the time with the little gyro spin. Where it's like the straightest ball I've ever seen in my life. I saw somebody the other day was calling it a straight curveball. So, Ooh, that's straight, not good. Straight, we'll just <laughs> Reminded me of the time I threw that straight slider that ended up yeah. 480 straight away from Dave Parker. But it's funny how you remember those. Oh, well, our bullpen coach actually called me from the bullpen to tell me that he walked it off long, <laughs> and it was 480. So I came in after the inning, and he said, by the way, I thought you might want to know that ball went 480 feet. I walked it off. <laughs> Thank you. That's good information to have in the middle of the second. Mm -hmm. All right, well, hey, use our discount code. You know, we're always with Pitch Logic. We love these guys. Grab one of these, you know. Uh, oh, other little segment, the, the reed leather. Are you guys still doing that? Yes. That's definitely the most underrated thing about this company right here. These baseballs, they get they turn into this. Right, this is what you end up with something right here. You can send it back, and they give you one of these. We're keeping the same components on the inside, but brand new leather on it. It's amazing. It's, it's we have actually idea. redone our, our model so that we're a subscription-based company now, mm -hmm. and we have a certain amount of recovers built into the program. This ball will still work. Scuff ball will still work. It'll still give you good numbers. This one is a little bit better to throw. Sweet. Thank you so much, Larry. All right, John. Good to see you, man. Thank you so much, man. Sick ass packaging right here, a little pop up thing. It's literally baseball team.
Yeah, let's get some arms. does not exist outside of this. It is a completely proprietary communication protocol, okay? Written from scratch. And so what we've done is, you can send your plays to your uh, players out in the field, up to 22 all at once, okay? The second thing is, is obviously there's no Wi-Fi and a set on the Bluetooth, but the controlling of the game tip. I have a video when we do a beta testing. Kid threw the ball, from the time the ball left his hand, from the first pitch to the second one, was 15 seconds. I'm not talking about from when he got it back and got back on the mound and started running up. 15 seconds from release to release. That is lightning fast. The batter couldn't keep up. So what had happened was the batter actually stepped off the plate after a while because he wasn't ready, wasn't focused, wasn't in the routine yet. But so now you can hit, let's just say, curveball, outside high, you know, and if you have educated kids, you don't have to tell them where to shift to, right? All you gotta do is just say, hey, curveball, outside high. If you got a right-handed batter and a pitcher is accurate, you know it's not gonna go to the left. You know it's gonna go either center or right, right? So all you gotta do is you just hit send, it goes straight to your wristband just like that. No Wi-Fi, no settling, no Bluetooth, no problem. Wait, so this is a communication system to everybody in the field of Every single coming? person <laughs> at the exact time. So who picks the pitch? And who picks the pitch? Coach does. What if the pitcher wants to pick a pitch? Then you can have him pick the pitch just the same and signal to the catcher. Okay. How often do you let your players do that? Because uh, mostly, mostly catchers call the plays, right? No, not, not, no. And that's uncommon for the most part. No, it's not. No! 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 Yes. Hi. What's going on? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah, you should exactly. like in, in other countries they don't the catcher doesn't call the pitcher makes the decision. That's bizarre. Yeah, the coaches aren't even involved. Like, really? Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah, I've, I've just played internationally, so it's just a whole different. Really. I could literally tell the catcher where to set up. I'm not losing dips. Yeah, I'm not losing. Dips. Here you go. We we start off as a pitching facility, okay. right? And then I came in and built the hitting side, so we do it all now, right? Okay. But our our like meat of our training is live at bats. So we run live at bats every single week. Like everyone, you know, do their bullpens, BP throughout the week, right. and they test it for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, depending on the age group. A lot of our pitchers have like a lot of different pitches, right? You know, fastball, curveball, changeup, cutter, you know, right. two seam and all that stuff. Especially him, he's got like seven. Okay. And then so the pitcher that he like, or if he has a catcher that has never caught him before, he's like, no, 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 no. So say if there's something like a pitcher being able to call it, like it'd be dope, like for a pitcher like him, because you or a good pitcher. Who knows? Like, all right, I'm like the pitcher is the one calling the pitch. It's not necessarily the yeah. catcher. And we actually coach the kids. Like, we give them uh, a sequence. I right, go this guy backwards. Go slow, slow, fast, slow on this guy. Or go fast, slow, fast, slow. Or go fast, fast, slow, slow on this guy. And that way, the catcher kind of knows. All right, that's the sequence I'm gonna work with. And then they can build the sequence. Yes. You know, as the at bat goes. Not to say that you have to throw a fastball. This is. this is just what I want. I want fast. I want. I want you to speed them up and then slow them down. I want yeah. to slow them down and speed them up. <laughs> Uh, our Miller, our Miller technology. technology. Yep, you'll see him soon for sure. Thank you, brother. We, we got so much more to see. We haven't even scratched the surface here, so it's fun talking to everybody that we saw last year, seeing some new people. So it's dope. But definitely run out of gas. Definitely need some food. How would you?
said two is a slider, and I'm like, oh, sh okay, this one, this one. Oh. You have to go to your pitcher, dude. Well,